Okay guys, so let's go ahead and introduce bioinformatics uh, with some definitions. So when we talk about bioinformatics, it's the combination of two words, bio and informatics. So let's see what informatics is. Informatics deals with information management and processing using techniques from mathematics, statistics, computer sciences, and engineering. That's how Mount defines that. Whereas processing biological information with the similar approach, we can say it's bioinformatics. Some say it's the science of collecting and analyzing complex biological data, such as genetic codes. Interesting definition put forward by Westhead in his book Instant Notes is it's a marriage between biology and computer sciences. There is a review which is uh, written in the years early 2000 and which is quoted everywhere wherever people are describing or defining bioinformatics is LUSCOM's review. So it says that bioinformatics is conceptualizing biology in terms of macromolecules and then applying informatics techniques to understand and organize the information associated with these molecules. Okay guys, so whenever we talk about informatics, we, we think of information and whenever there is an information we think about data so data and information are a little bit confusing so it's hard for people to distinguish between them so let me go ahead and uh, clear some differences over here so there is a subtle difference between data and information data are the facts or details from which information is derived and for a data to become an information data needs to put in context okay so data are raw unorganized facts that needs to be processed and data can be something seemingly random and useless until it is organized. So data can be anything. It can be some weight data. We can have weights of some people. We can have counts of some species, birds, animals, elephants, anything. So it's just a data. So whenever the data is processed or organized or structured, and then present it in a given context, it becomes the information. What is knowledge then? So the use of information in context to make decisions, that is knowledge. Let me clear these things with some example. So for example, we get some data which is 13, 11, 75, it's 13 November 75. It's just a data, it's just meaningless thing. And then somebody gives you the information that it's Dr. Heather's birthday, right? So now from that data, you put that information, you got a context, and then it leads you to conclude that on 13 November 2015, Dr. Heather will become, and his age will go to 40. He will turn 40. So this is how we got some data, we put some context with that data, and we concluded some knowledge out of it. Again, in this diagram, we can see that data leads to information and information leads to knowledge. Okay, so let me define our main core of this subject, gen genome informatics. So genome informatics is the field in which computer and statistical techniques are applied to derive biological information from genome sequences. Let me go ahead and define it in another formal way. The definition was given by his law C4 uh, in 2014. So in his paper, he described genome informatics includes methods to analyze DNA sequence information and to predict protein sequence and structures. There is another correlated field, which is genomics. So genomics is a more recent term that describes the study of all of a person's genes the genome, including interaction of these genes with others and with person's environment. So that it definition has been put forward by NHGRI, National Human Genome Research Institute. Let me define computational biology here, which is also a correlated field to bioinformatics. So computational biology aims to develop algorithms and relations among various biological systems. 